Welcome back to my Unreal Engine first person animation tutorial series. So in the last part we've created some things in the materials so that we can change the color of our weapon. So in this part we will go ahead and finish the skin change in our weapon up so we can just select a skin color or a, a skin texture and just put it onto our weapon. So let's go ahead and start. So <coughs> first go to first person weapons mesh and now we grab our slide magazine uh, slide material sorry slide material again and now we have to change some something here. So let's start and just go ahead and rename this this param to text to color blend and let's go ahead and delete this and let's create another lerp here put it into A and yeah so let's copy our base color texture put it into A and now let's duplicate it and convert to parameter and let's call it skin texture put it into B and the alpha will be your mask again like in the last episode I've said something to this so I'll just copy it from the other and now everything will look fine but I want to uh, make another thing so we can change the scale of the skin so we just go ahead and grab a right click texture texture cards texture coordinates so like this multiply and create another param with one and left click and convert it to a parameter and let's rename it to texture scale and put this into B. Now let's grab our texture coordinates again, multiply it again, and put texture codes in A and this into B. And let's add them. So, yeah. So I think, uh, oh, we have to change some values here. So this value will be the so when you select it, here you the U tiling we set to one and the V tiling to zero, and here the U tiling to zero and the V tiling to one. So let's put the add into the UVs. And now we can save this like so. <coughs> and let's go into our instance and test it. So. Um, text to color blend when we put it to one it will use this color here when we put it to zero it will use the skin color here so the skin texture so let's grab something I don't know yeah so I don't have any skin texture maybe this as you can see it changes and we can set the scale to one or something higher so let's jump right back and set the texture scale as a default value to 1 and save again. And now go to our uh, weapon base class and let's just create another variable and call it skin texture. And the type will be texture 2D compile and save put it up here and now go uh, onto our paint mode update and now let's add another value to the weapon color types enum and this will be skin so save and let's copy this put it into skin and let's 
just delete those. And here on the default, uh, we have to set the uh, set the texture to the basic. So to the set vector. Oops. Set yes, no set texture parameter value, and the name is skin texture. So in default, we want to display the default weapon. So let's promote this to a variable and call it default texture and here let's copy it and put it here and here is the value the skin texture like so so now i think it will work so let's go into our desert eagle and check it so uh, let's set this to, no, oh, wait, let's compile it and set the paint mode to default, oh, it won't change, so I think we did something wrong, so let me, uh, look real quick, <coughs> oh, okay, I see, so we still have the parameter name default to color blend here, so we renamed it here, so let's copy the name and paste it oops paste it here compile save and let's go into our desert eagle and the color will work the default is not working because we haven't set a default texture so let's grab desert eagle slight base color so now it looks normal color we can change the color here on skin it will well, okay uh, it will activate the color so let's look again ah okay we have to set the value to zero and compile and save and try another one all right so now it's working we can set them um, some weapon skins here so let's grab our fire again this looks pretty nice and we can change from skin and set the color or de just default and now we have to set up the uh, skin size so let's add another parameter value here oh no we have to set a scalar parameter value and the name is texture scale so let's copy it real quick put it here promote the value let's promote this to a variable and call it uh, skin scale compile save and so now set the skin scale as default to 1 compile save and now we can just make it bigger or very big or pretty small what did you want so all right i think that's it we can yeah this is looking pretty good so i think that's it with this tutorial uh, I hope you liked it and I hope it helped you a little bit. So in the next part, we will go on and create uh, this event that we can shoot with our weapon. So we already have aiming and some other things here. So in the next part, we will aim and also we will just f fix some bugs. And you can see it's a bit lagging here on our FPS hands and sometimes you can see in your head or something it's looking pretty weird sometimes but we will do it in the next part so have a good day and bye bye